page 82. Rip Van Winkle This story is about Rip Van Winkle, a good-natured but lazy man who goes away into the hills and falls asleep. When he awakens 20 years later, Rip finds that quite a few things have changed. Many years ago, at the foothills of the Catskill Mountains, was a little village. In the village lived a simple, good-natured fellow named Rip Van Winkle. He was a kind neighbour, ready to help anyone. Everyone in the village liked him. The children of the village shouted with joy whenever they saw him, because he played with them. He taught them to fly kites and shoot marbles and told them long stories. The only problem with Rip was that he was very lazy. He did no work on his own farm and just idled away his time. His fences were falling to pieces. His cow was going astray. Weeds grew on his farm. Rip's constant companion was his dog named Wolf. To avoid work, he would walk away into the forest with his dog. One day, Rip just walked on and on and reached the highest part of the mountains. It was late in the afternoon when he reached there. Tired after his long climb, he lay down and began daydreaming. It was soon evening and he realised it would be night by the time he reached his village. Page 83 We see a picture of Rip Van Winkle having some fun time with the kids and his lovely dog. Page 84 Suddenly he heard a voice calling out, Rip Van Winkle! Rip Van Winkle! He looked around and saw a short old man with thick hair and a grizzled beard walking towards him with a barrel. He made signs to help him carry the barrel. Rip hurried to help the stranger who caught his hand tightly. Together they reached a place where there were some more odd-looking men playing nine pins. They were all dressed the same way and all of them had beards of various shapes and colours. Even though they were playing a game, their faces were serious and there was silence. Page 85 The only sound was the noise of the balls which echoed in the mountains like thunder. As Rip and his companion reached them, they stopped playing and stared at Rip with a fixed gaze. Rip was really frightened. His companion emptied the contents of the barrel into glasses and made Rip drink it. Rip obeyed as he was trembling with fear. Since he was thirsty, he drank a few more glasses and slowly fell into a deep sleep. On waking up, he found that he was at the place where he had first met the old man. He rubbed his eyes. It was a bright, sunny morning. Surely I have not slept here all night, thought Rip. He looked around for Wolf, but he was nowhere. Rip whistled for him. Wolf! Wolf! He then shouted. No dog was to be seen. Where has this dog gone? He muttered to himself. He began to descend the mountain to go back to his village. Page 86 As he neared the village, he met a number of people, but he didn't know any of them. The villagers also stared at him, equally surprised. Who is this man? said one. I have never seen him before, said another. Look at his long white beard and his wrinkled face. On hearing this, 
Rip stroked his chin and, to his astonishment, he found his beard had grown a foot long and it was all white. An old woman walked up to him and looked at his face for a moment. Then she exclaimed, It is Rip Van Winkle! Welcome home again, old neighbour! Where have you been these twenty long years? Adapted from The Legend of Rip Van Winkle by Washington Irving Page 87 Fun with new words 1. Circle the correct meaning of the given words. You may need to use the dictionary. Idled away Wasted Rested Admired Constant Coffee Construct Steady Companion Dog Stranger Partner Realize To understand To set free Real Descend To not send To be decent To move down Barrel A wooden container A musical instrument a bag. Contents. To be happy. The ingredients. The index of a book. 2. Match the words in the box with their meanings. You may take the help of a dictionary. Grizzled. Astonished. Foothills. Stroked. Familiar. Near the lower part of a mountain. Blank. With grey hair. Blank. To rub gently. Blank. To be very surprised. Blank. Known to you. Blank. Let's read. 1. Say whether the following sentences are true or false. 1. Rip was kind to children. Blank. 2. Rip was a hard-working man. Blank. Page 88 3. The short old man on the mountain was his constant companion. Blank 4. Rip helped the old man on the mountains because he wanted to have a drink from the barrel. Blank 5. Rip was away for 20 years because he was asleep on the mountains. Blank 6. The drink from the barrel made him fall asleep for 20 years. Blank. 7. Nobody recognised Rip when he came back because he had reached the wrong village. Blank. 2. Complete the following sentences. 1. Rip's village was situated. Blank. 2. The children of the village loved him because... Blank. 3. Blank was his constant companion. 4. The villagers stared at him because... Blank. 5. The old woman who recognised Rip was... Blank. Let's write. Work in groups of four. 1. What were the strange things about the men on the mountains? 1. Blank. 2. Blank 3. Blank 4. Blank Page 89 2. What kind of a man was Rip Van Winkle? 1. He was a kind neighbour 2. Blank 3. Blank 4. Blank Vocabulary Building 1. Pick out the names of the games mentioned in the story. Space has been provided for the same. Flying kites, chess, nine pins, shooting marbles, mountain climbing, shooting, skipping, hopping. 2. Sometimes we join two words to make a describing word. For example, Rip was a good-natured man. Everybody liked him. Here are some more describing words. Use them to complete the given paragraph. Long-sleeved, high-heeled, 
well dressed, open mouthed, sweet looking, odd looking, part time. Mrs. Das has a. Mrs. Das has a blank job in a clothes shop. Yesterday, an blank woman walked into the shop. She was wearing blank shoes. Page ninety. A blank dog was with her. I want a blank shirt for my dog, please, she said. For your dog? asked Mrs. Das, blank in surprise. Yes, replied the woman. I want him to be blank for my next party. Three silent letters. What is common in the following groups of words? One, knee, knife, not, no, blank. Two, neighbor, daughter, fight, straight, blank. Three, honest, honor, our, air, blank. Try and make more silent letter words. Nat. Blank, blank. Tongue. Blank, blank. Chalk. Blank, blank. Whistle. Blank, blank. Four. Read the two paragraphs given below. My mother is always awake. Before anyone else in the family, I usually wake up after six o'clock. I loll around lazily for a few minutes, then I get up and get dressed for school. At bedtime, I read a story book. When I feel tired, I lie down and go to sleep very quickly. I fall asleep in no time at all. One. Now find the opposites of the following words from the paragraphs and complete the table. Awake, asleep. Wake up, blank. Get up, blank. Lazily, blank. Page ninety-one. Two. Fill in the blanks using the words in the previous questions. A. Blank and blank quickly. You will be late for school. B. Shh. The baby is blank. Don't make a sound, or she will blank. C. Are you still blank? You should be blank now. Or you will not be able to blank in the morning for school. Let's talk. One, lots of things must have happened in the village when Rip was away. Imagine you are the neighbor who greets Rip after twenty years. One student should act as Rip. Tell Rip about all that had happened in the village after he left. Talk about what happened to his family. To his friends, to the other villagers, to the children he played with, the changes in the village, etc. Your teacher will guide you. You may start this way. Guess what happened on the day you left. When you didn't come home in the evening, your wife. Dash. Blank. Two. Read the speech bubbles. Who walks to school most often? Put them in order. Anu, I don't usually walk to school. I often go by cycle. John, I never walk to school. I live very far away. Arjun, I always walk to school. I live right opposite the school. Mini, I sometimes walk to school. At times, I take the bus also. Nazim, I usually walk to school. It's a nice way to start the day. Page ninety-two, creative writing. One, 
write about yourself using the following expressions. Do you play in the park? Go to bed late? Fuss over food? Study hard? Etc. Always. Frequently. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Rarely. For example, I always do my work neatly. 1. Blank. 2. Blank. 3. Blank. 4. Blank. 5. Blank. 2. Use the following clues to complete the following exercise. Play. Stop. Buy. Learn. See. Meet. Learn. Be. Eat. Go. Travel. Start. Read. Visit. 1. Write three new things you have done in the last three years. A. I have started blank. B. Blank. C. Blank. 2. Write three things you have not done in the last three years. A. I have not played blank. B. Blank. C. Blank.